not gonna lie, I'm not sure I like this with the red background. The red background, you don't like it? I mean, it doesn't matter it what, like it, I mean, just pick any color that's not black and I can chroma key it out. <laughs> oh, okay. Alright then, let's go. Alright. So no one's hurt. Alright, uh, three, two, one, go. Alright, we're recording. This is gonna be really weird to crop later. <laughs> I'll find- I'll find the way. I'll find the way. Am I supposed to stay on the title screen? Because I already- I already started a new save. I'll start a new save. Alright, so guys, welcome to Mario & Luigi Paper Jam. This was my idea. Yeah, and it's a great- it's- it's a- a pretty alright idea, I guess. Oh, oh, oh no, there's no castle! Where'd the castle go? <laughs> Where's the castle? <laughs> Wait, is the castle not loaded in for you? The castle didn't load in. <laughs> <laughs> My off, castle loaded in. Off to a great start. Okay, you know what? It's probably it's it's honestly it's probably a really bad idea to play this at a, a speed faster than um a hundred. So I might have to just put it at default speed. I wanted to play the, I wanted to play the game at like a hundred ten percent or something, so it could be a little faster. I don't. I really don't care. <laughs> Honestly, Jacob, I won't lie to you. I'm playing. How does that DM me? He's probably gonna join. <laughs> he just gave me I. Zach says I weird. Like he's. I mean, not not says, but he spells it weird. Like he yeah, spells he, it I G I G H I G H T. Yeah. Yeah, he skips the. I don't know why he skips the A. I always just go A I G H T. Alright. Oh, you hey, know. Yeah, oh, you, oh, you know what? I need a. I, I need to do a big brain moment real quick. Are you gonna map? Are you gonna remember to fast forward the cutscenes? Um. Yeah, but I was. I was gonna. Do. I was gonna see if I can find a way to map a turbo button. But I don't think I can find that. My PC can't handle a turbo button. No, I, I was gonna see if um my super awesome 3DS had turbo functionality. But it doesn't look like it, so I guess I'm gonna be mashing instead. The great thing is, I've played this game once before, so like I know, like I played it recently, so I know a lot of shit. It's 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 Paper Jam. The story is really fucking stupid. Hey, I, I don't. I will admit, this might be the most basic of the ones, which is honestly not a good thing, considering this is like the last one technically. Yeah. Last original one. The last one. So they, they, the they, they, they were so they were going bankrupt, so they had to make two remakes, and then the remakes bankrupted them. So it backfired yeah. really hard on them. Hey man, I like the remakes. I'll buy, I, I bought the first one. I didn't buy the second one because it was like really hard to find. Yeah, I ended up um I ended up a getting I ended up borrowing a copy of the second of the second remake. And you probably know what I mean when I say borrow. You, you took it, and then you never gave it back. Yes. Oh. I borrowed it from Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> how do you, how do you, did you, like, rent it, and then you just never decided to give it back? Come on, Seth. You're smarter than that. You know what I mean. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> you, uh... You, uh... <laughs> I, 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 I sailed the seven seas for that game. <laughs> Paper Koopas! Are they also broken? Look at them. <laughs> the pa wait, Paper Goombas. <laughs> Alright. Oh yeah, I just- I guess- I guess since you're screen sharing with your phone, it won't, like, detriment your recording at all. This is good. I'm not screen sharing, I'm just turning my camera on, they're showing me. Yeah. Oh hey, here's an area that we're not gonna get to for, like, another 10 hours. What, Mount Burr? Yeah. Game. Mount Burr. Game. No, that's Mount Burr. Mount Burr. Yeah, it's called Mount that's Burr. That's Mount Burr? Yeah. What area are you thinking okay. of? Um, I thought, th I thought that was like the... Are you thinking of, you thinking of Mount Pajama Joe? <laughs> no, I was thinking of the one from 64. Oh, cool, Paper cool Mountain? Of... No, Paper Mario. Oh, Shiver Mountain? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, that's all right. So this is just going to have to be a side effect we live with. Or all the paper. It's not. So it's not just paper Mario. It's just like every paper. Oh my God! Paper Peach looks like she's been possessed by a demon. Holy crap! 
I need to see that. All right, here. <laughs> Just every paper creature being weirdly textured here. Oh God! Hey, you know what? Look, what if? What? If, how about I screen share too? I'll just let you see my my uh my crappy gameplay. Yeah. I'll, I'll just I'll you know I mean it's not gonna detriment my recording at all I don't think. So I mean, I'll just. Are you are you literally at the same place I'm at? Yeah. Is there a hard mode to this game? No. <laughs> which is what I, which is what I really hate. Like I love, I love that, I love that Dream Team has one, but Paper Jam doesn't. That's what made Paper Jam really like way less replayable. I thought it did have a hard mode. I could have. I am fairly sure it doesn't. Damn, your mic's broken. No, I'm serious. It is. Explain. Okay, it's good now. <laughs> oh, it's because I was far away from my thumb. So when you're far away, it just glitches out like that? <laughs> yeah. You want to chat with the princesses, Mario? Yeah, what the fuck does it look like I want to do? <laughs> Why? This is probably the stupidest thing. Also, I'm gonna admit this. I'm probably the only person on the planet that does not care about um, uh, the paper toad. Like, I don't mind them. Like, they're fine. They are horrendous at- they, they are horrendous at worst and boring at best. <laughs> they're fine. They're like a little minigame. They are slightly clever at best, then, and fucking horrible at worst. <laughs> Damn, favorite Princess Peach just stole Peach. Mari Mario Cuck. <laughs> Mario Cuck. Or Peach. Well, Peach got I, 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 I Peach got Cuck, not Mario. Not sure if I not sure if I like this bilinear filter I have on, but eh. bilinear filter. Yeah, I'm using oh, a filter. I'm using a filter that kind of like smooths out the textures a bit. Here, let me see. Let me zoom in. I cannot tell. No, maybe you, it's just me. Identical. Also, honestly, I'm a little upset. I don't know why. I'm just kind of upset that this game is running better than the DS games. <laughs> they are. Yeah, they're running better than the DS games. Like, <laughs> like constantly hitting like. 80% and 90s. Oh, no, I'm not using any filters. Maybe I'm just going cuckoo. <laughs> I'm, oh. I'm definitely going cuckoo. Okay. Why is all your text in Japanese? Uh, that's because I'm using uh, lemonade. Let's go. I hate it's, lemonade. Orange it, juice is better. That's I why mean, I prefer citra. I mean, you're right. It is. I'm, I'm, <laughs> well, I'm kidding. I like lemonade, but orange juice is just... But, Lemon orange juice is just like the best juice. Lemonade like, is supposedly supposed to be better than Citra. You don't see it. But it's not Probably that much better. Well, if, if, I, if I was using lemonade, the, the paper people probably wouldn't be glitched out like this. Potentially. Also, I don't understand why it's just the paper people that are glitched out. Like, everyone else is normal. Alright, I'm gonna go start getting these toads. Yeah, honestly, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I have no idea why they're glitched out. It's weird. Might have to uh, look at your settings for the next episode. Unless you want to keep the glitchy paper people. Oh no, I'm keeping this. This is a permanent addition. <laughs> <laughs> this is a permanent addition. Like, it's beautiful. It's art. <laughs> Picasso. Picasso hasn't been. Uh, he's been pretty quiet since this game hit. Yeah, it's been, it's been pretty quiet since I started playing this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I haven't seen any flat toads. Oh, you want to know something else that I just remembered about this game? What? They have little circles around you that tell you what someone's attacking. Like, that's on by default. Oh, should I turn that off? Oh, no, you can't turn that off. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> you can't. Well, here's the thing. You can mitigate it, you can make it so that it'll just tell you, oh yeah, someone's attacking, but we're not gonna tell you which one. But no, you're not getting rid of those circles. Huh. Uh, where could all the paper toes go on? Uh, they were eaten by a goat. Wouldn't be the most high land? Actually, is it, is it, they is might there be even a goat in Mario? Is there even a goat in Mario? 
in Sticker Star S, which is what this game's heavily based on, sadly. I mean, All right. not really. And that was the easiest also, Toad mission. They're not going to be that easy ever again. They're going to be way worse later on. Why I are like there? We also both. Can I just point out? I like how we both finished on the Princess Beach Toad. Yeah, because that's the one I forgot about. Well, yeah, me too. Ah, yes. Two, we hate 2D. <laughs> we hate the 2D. We, we're, uh, ableist. <laughs> These people are flat, and we're Fla not. Flattest? I don't know. Mm. Shapist? Goomba, Goom, Go Goombas are racist. Goombas are... Well, they have the right to be. They're, I mean, God did them pretty dirty, I won't lie to you. <laughs> Goombas... The, I, mean, they, I mean, to be fair, the Goombas are probably sick of having, uh... They're sick of being they're handicapped all these years. <laughs> they just want arms. Like they want they, they want arms. arms. Is that too much to ask for? It's too much to ask for yes. want arms. Oh yeah. Right, Here, here's definitely. some mushrooms. Also, can I also say this game probably has like the laziest like shopping mechanic out of every single one of these games? The laziest shopping mechanic? No, fast travel. Oh, fast travel. Because there's no explanation to it. Like, literally, you get to the desert town, and you can just fast travel. Ooh, wow. At least with the other games, there was, like, an explanation. Like, Super Star Saga had the pipes. You know, that's just, like, a tourist thing. Yeah. Uh, Partners in Time had the time holes, which, like, made sense, but, like, obviously. Mm-hmm. Bowser's Inside Story had the weird mind thing, which, like, yeah, like, from, like, a real-life perspective, like, where the fuck did they come from? But, like, they're explained in the game, so whatever. And Dream Team had the old pipes that uh, Dreams were hid. But in this yeah. game, no, you just have random paper craft pipes that show up out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, that is really silly. Like, you couldn't end up coming with, like, an explanation of, like, oh yeah, no, Bowser can shoot pipes around, and having a pipe system lay around. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> so, so I'm going, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna buy, I'm, I'm gonna spend all of my money on so-so boots and thick gloves. That's it? Is I that how you're gonna make this hard for yourself? That's, I'm not making it hard for myself. I'm making it easy, dude. Because I have, I have like, I went from three defense to twenty-two defense on Luigi, so defense? and I went from three defense oh, to like eighteen defense. On I just remembered. Also, there's a second kind of currency. Oh yeah, the redeem points. Yeah, I think there's like challenge wear that comes with it. House scarf DX, master gloves. Oh, I gotta save up for that. Eh, I don't think I bought the master gloves in my playthrough. Automat Remember, automatically this. uses emergency block when you receive damage. Wow, that's the most useful thing ever. Oh, I got it. Oh, I guess the challenge oh, boots are also good too. I think that is the hard one. It's just the same thing. What does it do? The challenge boots. This is increase your striking power based on your expert challenge success rate. So no, that's actually good. And power scarf deluxe, which is 1150 points. So that's Holy crap. That is expensive. Thanks for your patronage. Alright, what do you have? Welcome right. to the item shop. Right. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be buying any items. I can't wait to get Boo Biscuits, no. the best item in all of Sticker Star. I mean, called, uh, not Sticker Star. Why am I calling this Sticker Star now? <laughs> I'm just that right, traumatized. <laughs> you haven't even played that game. Yeah, I have. That's the worst part. I actually played Sticker Star. <laughs> Alright, I have enough mo I have just enough money to buy the Soso boots and the Soso hammer for both the bros. Oh, screw the hammer, man. I don't need that. Hey, it's Nampy. I, I hate how in, like, Dream Team and, uh... I thought, well, in, like, the newer games, they have it so that there's a separate POW for your hammer and boots. Like, that just annoys me. That is kind of annoying, because the hammer sucks, so you're never gonna use it, which means you almost never need to upgrade your hammer. And yeah, I still buy the hammer upgrades. Wow, we just get red shell and fire flower like at the start of the game. What the fuck? I forgot about that. You have your hammers at the start of the game. Like every That's other game, weird. you don't start with your. Yeah, every other game, you don't start with your hammers. In this game, you just... I think the... they just finally learned to keep their hammers from the last game. <laughs> yeah, they're like, oh, we, we have hammers, right? Let's we use them. Probably hold on. I thought I was thought the explanation was they just broke them and they never bothered to get a new one. They broke that. You know what? That's a well. That that, that doesn't make any sense because why the fuck would they break the Ultra Hammers from Superstar Saga? They would have had those like throughout the entire series if it weren't for that. 
I don't know. You can say they dropped them as when Cacleta when they were like you could they could, you could say they just, they, wait, they, they just they left dropped them. them when they no they dropped them like as the bird was taking them out of the exploding castle. You know what? That's not a bad idea. Poppy block, and also my girl Toadette's here. Hell yeah. Your girlfriend what? My girl Toadette. Oh. This is the first one she's in, by the way. She has not hey. been in a single... Yeah, that's it. She has not been in a single game up to this point, technically. I mean, she really doesn't have to be in that many. <laughs> well, she's not an important character. She was introduced in a side game. Yeah, Mario Kart Double Dash. <laughs> yeah, literally. Her first mainline appearance, I think, was Mario Bros. U Deluxe. Oh my god, these paper Goombas are beautiful. I mean, technically, technically, yes, mainline, because uh, you probably aren't counting Mario Maker 2. Those are not mainline. Those are yeah, that's not, that's not mainline. <laughs> and also, uh, we'll never, I'll not forgive Toadette for killing off Blue Toad in New Soup. He's still in that game. Uh, I feel like I have to have this this combo every time about how New Soup U Deluxe sucks. I liked it, bro. I beat it like three times. And I got all the star points. Like, I'm not saying New Soup U sucks. I'm saying New Soup U Deluxe sucks, specifically. The, the Switch part. Why does the Switch part suck? It comes with the DLC for free. Oh god, there's no background. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it has to load in everything. That's really funny. Oh, I'm gonna love watching this when it comes up. Yeah, and I get to listen to the Superstar Saga battle theme. Hooray! Not for long, not for long. I think once you get Paper Mario, it just goes back to the- no. Oh my god. <laughs> this is not permanent. I wish it was. <laughs> this is not a permanent change, Jacob. Don't be happy. See, that, that, that's my exact- that's, those are my exact thoughts when I play this game for the first time. Alright, shut up, Starlo. How are you not dead? You're that is fire. You are paper. You are dust. So I think this is the only game where fire like actually like you know critically hurts them. <laughs> that is pretty funny. Like every other game, fire has not hurt these people at all. Oh, okay, they're dead already. Yeah, another dead. Surprise. And also, when Mario <laughs> falls in water, he just shrugs it off. But if if but if this was Stagger Star, if Mario fell in water, he'd get the soggy status. That's a real thing. <laughs> That's a real fucking thing. The soggy status. <laughs> oh my god, it's Cody! Yeah. You know, this is another disappointing thing where they killed off Kami Koopa. Like, I know they didn't kill Kami Koopa off for this, like they killed her off in uh Super Paper Mario. Oh my god, Paper Bowser mm -hmm. is beautiful. <laughs> oh my god, hold up. No, no, no. Wait, he, he is? is? Jacob? <laughs> He's beautiful, Jacob. You're gonna love this. Let me look. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, it's like you're playing fucking Corruptions or something. This is just like every and this is like every piracy person's worst nightmare. They're, they're working with the <laughs> <laughs> that is so fucking funny. I will be say that this is technically canon before color splash. I'm glad Bowser speaks at all. Oh, true. This is a, this is canonically color splash Bowser then. Yeah, no, because sticker star like Bowser. Like I remember, I saw Charlie Five's video on it. And at the end, when Peach goes, Mario, what's your one wish? Charlie just goes, for Bowser to say something. He does not have <laughs> any dialogue in this game at all. I love how the Bowsers just keep kicking the shit out of each other. And Cody's just like there, just like, don't, Cody, Cody's don't just like, me this. And Cody's like, yeah. He's like, well, gone. <laughs> Saul gone. Oh, hello. Hello, random springboard that just popped into existence. This is there when you got there. You just didn't see it because cutscene. I think I think the calling really hit it hard. Right, yeah, I'm gonna yeah, go yeah. Back and hide. I'm I gonna go the back game. probably and get the... Like, get the... The overalls. The, 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 the equipment. I mean, you get the gloves, yeah, but you can't yeah. afford it. 
No, that I'm not getting the gloves. I'm just gonna. Go I'll just get the one for Mario, and then I'll come back later and get the one for Luigi. Dude, the, the gloves only give like four less defense than the the pants. Yeah, four. Really, four is a pretty big number in this game. Well, you get 22 defense with the pant with the gloves, and you get 26 with the pants. Exactly. I want Ow. a bigger number. Okay, sh shut up, shut up, Star. Let me battle. Oh, you gonna learn about the baby? Why is she babying me now? The okay, fucking the good, fucking really. tutorial is right there. It's in the bottom right. No, I don't want to do that. The only right, thing this the, the only thing this game does better than Dream Team is the tutorials. Everything yeah, everything else Dream Team does better. <laughs> Saving too, because in this game there's only the save button. There's no save blocks. There's only healing blocks. Speaking of, I'm gonna actually save the game real quick. Fire flower. Oh, that Gumba's not dead. Now he's dead. Honestly, you're probably gonna get ahead of me for once. I feel like every other time we play like these games together. You always get ahead of me. I mean, I mean, I always get ahead of you. Well, the reason for that is because I was playing Challenge Metal in Bowser's Inside Story, but there's no Challenge Metal in this game, so there's no reason for me to be behind. Plus, ten, also another thing, they killed off picking a stat to upgrade after you level up, so all our, all our stats are going to look pretty similar, aside from the beans. Oh, that is really sad. Alright, I'm don't mind me, just going to be spamming 3D Red Shell a bunch. <laughs> Because I honestly I I like that way better than the fire flower. Also, do I do I feel like torturing myself enough to go for um all of the challenges? No. <laughs> I might have I, no. I might have to do those off screen. Well, let's look. Why at, would you ever do them? I did them in Dream Team. But I mean, that game was more. It, in that game was more fun though. Is it in, where is it? Guide? So we have excellent jump, excellent hammer. Finish a battle using only ha excellent hammer attacks. Okay. Finish a battle using only excellent jumps. Expert 3D red shell. Oh yeah, these are really fucking annoying. Get five excellence in a row. That shit I usually just save scum for. They're not- it's not that hard to get excellence. No, but sometimes you cock it up and then you'd rather not do them all over again. That was the only reason- Oh, I forgot the paper Goombas go so slow. Yeah, the regular Goombas go, like, went way faster. Yeah. Alright, well, it says, it, it says I should do only expert jump attacks. So, I'll see if I could do that. Super Mario. Soup. Soup! Alright, my first distorted paper Goomba. What a tremendous <laughs> moment. Your first distorted paper Goomba. Okay, I got the expert oh, jump right. these, attack challenge. These blocks. Alright, so Luigi, Mario, Mario, Luigi, Luigi. I haven't seen these since Superstar Saga. Oh my Saga. god, beans, beans. Can't I will admit this game probably does beans better, I won't lie to you. How does it do Actually, beans I'm better? Actually, no, yeah, right now, the beans are the same. They're the same as Dream Team, I'm pretty sure. Wow, 10 no, coins. Are. I mean, everything from this game is just copy-pasted from Dream Team. Because if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Actually, can I also say something I prefer in this game over Dream Team? What? Like, the overworld bro things. You know, like, Trio Drill, all that stuff. Those are cool. Yeah, because there's... There's less of them to keep track of. Like you only get, you only get four. Actually, technically five. Actually, te I don't remember how many you get. You get five. Well, you, you technically you get the running socks, which count as one because you get it lets you run the dash socks. I feel like it's easier to get an excellent flower in this game. Mm. So, well, you see, you have the dash socks. You have trio hammer, a uh, trio grab. Goomba Trio... Dodge. That's not a thing, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Trio Drill and Trio Plane. 
Yeah, oh yeah, I do remember the trail plane now. I mean, I guess I don't mind the level ups being automatic because it saves time. But it is kind of sad that I, I can't got... put all my stats into POW like I want to. And my bros are officially level 2. By the way, um, you know that speed is really broken in this game, right? <laughs> do you not know how speed works in this game? Nope. It, for some reason, they decided to make speed work completely different from every other um, Mario and Luigi game. Explain. Speed determines how many turns you get <laughs> per battle. Ex still, Explain? Still not making sense? Wait, do you mean like turns as in turns in the arcades? No. I mean, if you have double the speed of the enemy, you get two turns, and your enemy only gets one turn. Before they attack? Yes. How's that? Well, in what world do you have, like, double the speed of your enemy and you don't kill them immediately? Um, challenge runs, low-level runs, shit like that. Have you seen, like, the speed runs for these games where they just, like, glitch? Yeah, I've seen that, where they fucking, like, they go out of bounds, and then they just die and beat every boss by dying. I know, it's hilarious. I love it. I wish I, I wish I could do that. It's you. Just do it, bro. No one's gonna stop you. No. Just go do it. I wanna actually, like, play through the game again. I, I know I did a- I know I did a second save file just to practice that funny glitch. And I, right, did, well, I actually we... got it. I managed to get out of bounds with it, but I suck at it. <laughs> Paper so Google how dodge. far do you want to get? How far do you want to get? I don't know. I don't know how how far we're gonna get in an hour or two. Well, I'm saying usually we have a goal in mind. Think, like, do you want to like, do you want to beat P? You want to beat the first Paper Crop? Like, what do you want to do? Thing is, I don't know. I don't remember this game well enough to know what like what the goal should be for this episode. Alright, I officially bought the picnic wear for both the bros. <laughs> picnic. I guess I should do the expert right. hammer challenge at some point, even though I don't feel like it. Thanks for your patronage. It is gonna be really, really weird playing this game though, because a lot of this game is gonna be HD, but then all the sprites are 2D, so it's gonna- it's gonna- they're gonna contrast with each other, like, really hard. <laughs> Bro, I'm already, like, getting complete weirdness out of just what the paper creatures look like. Oh, yeah, true. Can I also say, I find it weird there's, there's no paper Lakitu in this game. Like, yeah, you're right. the Lakitu, yeah, because like, the Lakitu actually play, like, a big role in, the, in this game, and there's just no sign of any paper Lakitu. Like, they even include a paper Luigi at the end. Yeah, I never noticed that, honestly. Well, he's part of the music box. Yeah, I know they built the music box. I just forgot yeah, about it. Oh god, oh, I can't wait to paper. Honestly, the boss I'm looking forward to seeing the most right now is Paper PD Piranha. Paper so PD. Uh, yeah, because I want to see how stupid he looks. <laughs> That's gonna be funny. It's gonna be very funny. Why do you always say stuff like that? What, funny? Yeah. I don't remember where I got that from. I think I just made that up. New high mm. score! New high at score! This point you picked, I'm not gonna lie, Jacob, oh. but at this point you picked up so many habits from me. Yeah, at this point you're just thinking, did I get that from Seb? No, I did not get that from you. <laughs> I already know that. Ooh! Hey, there's a Todd! Wow. What else, Again, is, this, what, what else is in this game? <laughs> It's just Toads, that's all you talk to him. Ha ha, he's- toads, Ha ha, that Goomba's too fat. Oh, I thought the joke was, ha ha, that Toad's too fast for us. No, the ha ha, the Goomba is too fat. Okay, so you're actually ahead of me. Yeah, I am. Yeah, because I went back to go buy the picnic wear for the bros. Yeah, <laughs> see, now that makes sense. Well, I guess I can get the, th the Expert 3 Red Shell right now. Mm -hmm. Not gonna lie are you to fighting every? Are uh, you finding all the enemies on your way, or are you just like uh, skipping tasks? I'm fighting most of them. I'm skipping a few. Just ones that I'm are just kind of out of the way. 
I mean, it's early game, so I don't really need to. I don't really need to worry about that. What? Oh, okay. I fucked up the red shell already. So so much for that challenge. Uh, I, I don't remember. I lost. I lost. Do you even have enough? Do you even have enough BP to do five of them? No, I'm gonna have to use a stirrup in a little bit. Actually, no. You, you start with 16. I'm assuming, I'm assuming you're level two, so yeah, no, you have 16. <laughs> you get, you I'm, get, you get right. SP, you get SP heals on level ups. Nope. Oh well, uh, this is my last, my last 3D red shell. I'll be out after this. Wait, are you still level one? No, I'm level two. Well, is that, know does that not count as getting an expert? I guess not. Alright, I need I need SP. Feed me see more. Oh, that's Good weird. Lord, that, that? That's weird. I forgot that they categorize syrups, mushrooms, and nuts into different categories in this game. Why the hell did they I do was, that? I actually not gonna lie to you, I thought that was just normal. No, I think this is the only game that does that. I mean, yeah, sorting mushrooms, sorting like items and beans in different categories, that makes sense. Because they've done, they did that in Superstar Saga and Partners in Time, I think. Dodge Apprentice. You wanna... Jay, you wanna know what I miss? What? I miss when the gear system was simple as it was back in uh, the first two games. <laughs> yeah. Like now it's way too complicated. Back then it was so simple. <laughs> Dodge, dodge enthusiast, dodge enemy attacks a hundred times, counterattack apprentice. Yeah, so the dodge, the dodge ones are gonna be annoying. Defeat all enemies in one move as Luigi. Okay, well, I can give Linguini some syrup then, and he can use a fire flower. I mean, you don't have to do it now. You can do it later when you're over leveled. Nah, I'll do it right now. I mean, the more challenges I get done early on, the better. Plus, I need to get my fire flower usage up. New high score, 21. Alright, the green color is a unique color. Super Luigi. Three birds with one stone. That's a separate challenge? Okay. Okay, not gonna lie, the challenge system is kind of fun in this game. You're actually having a fun time with it? I'm actually having fun with it. Is this, ah. is this series just gonna be Jacob realizes Paper Jam is better than he gave it credit for? I mean, it's still the worst one, but it's actually not as bad as I thought it was. I won't lie to you, I honest, honestly, when I rank these games, I haven't actually played- Alright, here's the thing. I've played all these games except for Partners in Time. And yeah. honestly, from what I've seen, I don't think I'm, I, I'm gonna like Partners in Time. Why not? I don't know, just everything in that game just like, like, seems annoying. Like, I know that the bros attacks are considered items, which is a pain in the ass. I know the badgers are based up with beans that are like, really hard to get. I know that, uh, the bosses are known for having like, ridiculous amounts of health. Okay, also, um, Mario and Luigi just got cucked by like, 10 paper Goombas, so... Mario and Luigi Damn, you're... Dude, you're about to get paper Mario, I'm like, behind. And he did Mar Paper Mario just T poses into battle. Great. That's another thing I find kind of like. Where did he come from? Where was he? Why was he Batmaning? And, and why is he molesting the Goombas? That too, but that's less important because they're Goombas. So who cares? <laughs> <laughs> they don't have rights. <laughs> see now. See now. Um, seeing TTYD Paper Mario. Well, I mean, it's weird, because, like, this Paper Mario is based on, like, both Sticker Star and TTYD, uh, Mario. And what's it the actually... difference? Is that, what's the difference? Like, um... why, how do you know it's been based off those two? It's just Paper Mario. He looks the same in all the games. The only game where he looks slightly different is Super Paper Mario. Yeah. Actually, it's 64, too, but technically he looked different in 64, but that was the first one. Yeah. But, uh, either way... Yeah. Um, so, okay, I guess in that case, then I guess you're right. I guess he is based on TTYD and Sticker Star. 
He looks like he looks exactly like the sticker starter and TTYD sprite. Like the Super Paper Mario sprite is is a bit different. Yeah, and the 64 one is obviously different. Yeah, but yeah, no, I guess you're right. I've always when I think about it, the super I think it's just because it's it. I can I can tell when he's different when he's angry. Whenever he has like the I'm about to kick some motherfucking ass sprite on, then he looks different. <laughs> yeah. Well, and now, like, this this Paper Mario, seeing Paper Mario like this in Paper Jam, it hits different, because I because now we have the TTYD remake, so we already know Paper Mario is good again, so maybe Paper Jam won't sour my taste as much. Yeah, because you know that this isn't what this is the cup. But honestly, I won't lie to you, Color Splash is pretty cool, oh. too. I honestly don't hate Color Splash. I need to play Color Splash. It's the only one I haven't played. I can't play it with you, so that's gonna be a by yourself thing. Or with oh, I know. I was planning to show it to my girlfriend. Well, actually, oh god. Gigs are Wii U? Do, do you know how many gigs a Wii U game is? Uh, on average, like five to thirteen, probably. Okay, never mind. Never gonna not gonna touch that. <laughs> and they just have cup. Okay, the Paper Mario action command is really fucking weird. Are, do, are you? I will. Right, here's another thing I'll, I'll admit. Why does he float? Oh, <laughs> I, d I don't know. Like this is the only game where he can do that. Why is this? Game? <laughs> Paper oh Mario God. can float. Like why does he do the weird like flying thing in his hand? Why does he do that like anywhere else? That'd be really funny. Just in the next Paper Mario game, you see Paper Mario fucking uh just float randomly. Well, he can't technically do it based off the logic, because you can't dodge attack, you just have to block him. Super guard it. <laughs> yeah. Mario! I don't know how you feel, but honestly, the copy flower thing, or actually the copy block... The <laughs> copy flower, you're thinking of partners in time again. <laughs> you know, the copy block is pretty Man cool. Man bat. Honestly, like, that's where they went with him. Hey, Mario! Mar and Paper Mario did like he did like a weird funny salute. Oh yeah, because that's the thing. Paper Mario doesn't even have like a stupid Italian dialogue. He really has to communicate with like movement. Oh, so it, you know what? Now that I think about it, it's also weird because Paper Jam, Paper Jam, I think was the last Paper Mario game to use the um, what do I call it? Oh yeah, so Color Splash onwards, they gave Mario a big fucking nose for no reason. <laughs> they gave him a what? They gave him a big fucking nose for no reason. And Wait, I, hold up, I gotta, I gotta fact check this. And I hate that. So, just, just look up, just look up like Color Splash Paper Mario nose or something. <laughs> I'm just gonna look at the sprite. Or, no, uh, yeah, Color Paper sprite. Jam, Paper Mario. Wait, just show me in-game. Okay. Yeah, that's fine, he looks weird. And then color splash. Paper Mario. Let me see the click in that. Yes, I did do an unboxing of Fumo Jose. Let me see. Actually, you're kind of right. His nose does look kind of big. <laughs> But I think this is because they made him look like they made him bigger in comparison. Like here he looks kinda tiny. Like in any other game he looks like fairly tall. It has nothing to do with his height, they just made his nose fat. <laughs> also, I just wanna say I always found it funny that Peach is like taller <laughs> than Mario. Yeah. Which is pretty hot, if you ask me. Do you just like women that are taller? <laughs> we like tall women. Oh my god, lag is gonna make jumping with Paper Mario so difficult. <laughs> There's lag. Well, yeah, I'm not running in a clean 100. We're not all rich like you, Jacob. Oh. What the fuck? Weird at goofy ass paper paratroopa. Alright, just give me an extra copy. Thank Here's you very much. Three birds with one stone. Bird up. Alright, let's do, uh, I don't know what I should do, honestly. 
Just jump on the just jump on the paratrooper, I guess. And then do the fire flower. That is gonna be my one and only unboxing video. <laughs> yeah, hopefully you never do it again. Get fucked. So at level five, you get to go to the next rank. I thought Mario was smart. Why would Mario ever think that paper that normal? Why would Paper Mario ever think normal Luigi is his Luigi? What is he stupid? Like one is clearly has a white out. Also, here's another question: Did Mario always have the? Did, did Paper Mario always have the white outline around him? No, that was um, Color Splash onwards that did that. No, that's. Paper Jam onward that did that. Because he has the white outline here. This is a game this game predates Paper Jam. Pretty sure it predates Paper I thought I thought that was like consensus. Wait, let me see. I'm pretty sure Color Splash was like 2016, right? Paper Actually, Jam released Jam. Paper Jam release date. No look Paper up, Jam is no, 2015. No, look up Color Splash release date. <laughs> well Paper Jam's 2015. I know that, but when, when did Color Splash come out? 2016. Yeah, no, this game predates Paper Jam. You mean this game predates Color Splash? <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's what I meant. This game predates <laughs> Color Splash. So it was this game onward that they did the white outline. What a weird, what a weird thing to pull from then. Or what? Just giving them away. Well, or I guess I should say, what a weird game to start with the white outline trying to. <laughs> it's like, why did you give him a white outline? What's the point? Yeah. I mean, I guess it's to highlight the fact that they're made of paper, but like. Oh, bro, I just remember. Oh, this is gonna be annoying. Bro, I'm getting Xboxed on. <laughs> Xboxed on? Oh yeah, because I'm using an Xbox controller. <laughs> oh, that happens to me. Hey look, it's a it's a it's a Goomba with a toad. Wow. Any moment that I don't have to say paper toads is a good moment in my book. Go time! Go time! Hey bitty bugs! I forgot you guys are in the game this early. Well, yeah, oh, that's another thing. This game reuses enemies so much. Yeah, <laughs> it does. Like, the baby bugs, like, the baby bugs, they come back later, the second time you revisit Mount Burr, and they just randomly are stronger, with, like, no explanation. Yeah, I remember that. Okay, that's... Yeah, that's bullcrap. Also, I'm probably not going to abuse save states because every time I abuse, every time I use save states, um, like it for some reason reverts my my background color back to black, and that's annoying having to fix every time. <laughs> so I'm not gonna do that. You know, let's just do the paper hammer. Oh, almost got it. Yeah, those are definitely sticker star noises. <laughs> I'll get that damn video right, card. Okay, this is why I hate that they gave you Paper Mario later. Is that his level is like his XP is completely off from the bros, and I just my 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 OCD doesn't like it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I think everybody hates that though. Like at least with Mario and Luigi, it like makes sense. Like actually, no, it doesn't. Like in this game, it doesn't make sense why uh, right. Mario. Because at least in every other game, you play with Mario like by himself before you, you play with Luigi. In this game, you just have both of them. You're right. Why do they do that? Like, dude, there's only one little segment beforehand where you play as Mario and there's no fighting. It's just, oh yeah, just walk around for like a minute and then talk to the princess. I think it's just because Luigi naturally starts with, um, what's it called? No, it's not. I, I'm gonna tell you right now. I checked for level one and two. 
they have the same they have the same XP curve, and then by level three, Luigi needs a little more XP to get to level four. Hmm. Well, that's stupid. Don't know why they did it that like that. Oh, hey, look, it's a bitty bug. The bitty buggy. All right, any other I any think... other challenges that I'm missing? Excellent paper hammer. Yeah, I'll do that real quick. I think the first instance of them reusing an enemy. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think it's Bob-Oms. Hmm. I guess we'll Did see. Do I remember? Because he's like, I remember that they used Bob-Oms in uh, what is it? They used Bob-Oms in the desert area. And then the bottoms, they come back later. Yeah. I guess, I guess we'll see what, what's the first enemy that gets reused, because I don't remember, personally. I know Hammer Bros definitely get reused later on. Well, here's the thing. I remember that the way, the, the way things happen, Bob-Oms appear in the desert first, and then once you get back to uh, this Sunbeam Plains, once you get on the boat, they're back there with Monty Moles. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, here's where we get the speed up feature. I think. Oh, this paper toad's annoying. Let me catch you. Please, let me save you. I'm trying to help you. <laughs> he just does not want to get caught. He is adamant about it. He's like, I'm going to be a free man. Oh, okay. There's randomly just a sign made out of toads. Or a fence, I guess? Let's not talk about it. You got dash socks? Why'd you say it like that? You're like, you got dash socks. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Well, here's the funny tutorial music that Yoko loves to remix. Wasn't the tutorial music just the 1 1 theme, but just like jazzed up a bit? They, uh, they, they, they started with that music. They have a remix of that in every game, but I feel like where it really started getting out of hand is Partners in Time. Because oh, yeah, there's cool. literally an entire area where that song plays. <laughs> yeah, like, it's just that the 1 1 theme is just so iconic. It's probably the most iconic piece, piece of game music known to man. I have the oldest whip known to man. Oh god, this fucking stupid ass song. Oh, I'm getting all. I'm, I'm gonna. Hold on, I'm gonna get all the coins first. There we go. Oh, oh yeah, I'm gonna go get all the coins. Piss, too. piss and vinegar. Yeah, I'm gonna get you, bitch. You saved the paper toes. Finally! It's not like we've done two of those already in the same episode. <laughs> I forgot how- I forgot how- was... episode been anyways? Uh, 50 minutes. Damn. Dude, we haven't even fought the first boss fight. We're already 50 minutes into this. I forgot how stupid Lakitu sounds in this game. He's like, ah! <laughs> Isn't that how he's always sound? How does he sound like that? He's like double dash. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, Lakitu didn't get a voice until Mario Kart 7, but I could be wrong about that. Oh wait, that's right, he wasn't in- I- 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 I said Double Dash, even though he's not even in that game. I mean, all- Lakitu's in every Mario Kart, but he doesn't really talk in any of them. I meant playable. So yeah, Mario- playable Kart, yeah, it'd be Mario Kart 7 that he's first playable. And plus, they had to differentiate the Lakitu's by giving this one a red shell. You got something to use in battle. Wow, thanks. That's really helpful. Congrats, save your girl that doesn't want sex. And I do- I am also really glad that this game has a way to f go around the world fast. 
More ma more Mario yeah, RPGs need that. Well, no, I'm, I'm talking about the dash talk. You can just go around quickly. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a W. That's something a uh, Dream Team doesn't really have as far as I'm concerned. Hey, Mario's level three. Hooray! Yes, Wario Coliseum in the background. So Jose watched my unboxing video. Good to know. <laughs> Wait, is it up already? Yeah, it's uploaded already. But like... Oh yeah, oh, okay. I, another thing I like about the Paper Toad question is like, I like that it tells you when you've collected all the Paper Toads in a room. Oops, wrong button. Because there's a little, like, in each, like, area of the map, there's a little, like, when if there's paper toads in the area, there will be, like, a blue circle with paper toads' face on it. Yeah, and but... Gone, then you collect all the toads. <laughs> but that honestly does not help all that much after a while. Yes, yeah, just shut up with the emergency block. I'm never, never gonna use that. <laughs> Unless you buy the Master Gloves, in which case they'll make you use it. That sounds terrible. Why would I want that? You said it was look it, it was good earlier. No, there's that's a different that was a different equipment. The master gloves, um, or I, oh, no, it was the master boots. The master boots, uh, gives you more attack based on your expert success rate. You commented on the video. Oh, I gotta I gotta check that out. Holy crap! Someone actually commented on my video. Yeah, I don't I don't get notifications of comments because um sometimes it's sometimes it's just like spam. <laughs> and other time and other times it's YouTube saying, Hey, your content sucks, we're gonna we're gonna delete it and I, I get like a heart attack every time I get a notification. Well I've never seen the only time I've seen a comment on your video was one of the GTA videos. I think it was the one where we did driving school. Yeah, bro, why'd you stop uploading? It was like, why'd you stop uploading, uh, what was it? Black and white. It was either black and white or new soup. Oh, it was new soup. Yeah, you're right. It's new soup. Yeah. They're like, bro, why'd you stop doing new soup? And we're like, bro, we can't. It's just that the owner of this server is never free, and he's like, a, he's like an essential character to this. Exactly. Jose said, okay. "Oh yeah, let's see. Like, hang on, hang on. Hang on. I got three comments. Zeppi says, minus that's not how you open up a box with scissors, mate.' And then he says it worked out in the end, eleven minutes later. And then Jose also said, "When you gonna do Bunny unboxing?" All right. If I can, if I if I can afford Bunny, then maybe I'll get it. All right. Well, here's the another thing. If Ganzito was like readily available or was like or like wasn't part of this, like we would have been done like ages ago. Yeah. In other words, I'm never doing a series with Gonzito ever again. <laughs> Only one offs. Only one offs like Smash Universe and Dragon Ball Z three Budokai or whatever the fuck. I meant like one offs as in like a one off episode. Oh. Um, oh that. No, like, I mean like me and is like I'm talking if I if we're talking about like actual genuine series then yeah, I'm not inviting him to it anymore. Unless it's just a game that me and him do, you know? Like, if it's just a two-player yeah. game, then that's fine. But there's one that, like, involves other people, like, fuck that. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, uh... I'm not letting him drag, drag it down. How long is it, What world are you in on New Soup? We were, in, we were about to do, like, World 7, I want to say? Well, that means then you have like two or three episodes up to do, assuming you're doing one world per episode. Actually, are you doing World 9? We're gonna do World 9, and keep in mind there's also World A, World B, World C, World D. Are you doing all that? Yeah. So yeah, the oh series God, is never gonna are. end. We already did- I mean, we already did World A and a little bit of World B, I think, so it's not all bad. It was gonna be longer than Persona 5, and that was like 128 episodes. Persona 5 or Persona 3? 5. Yeah, Persona 5 is. I think, actually, well, the Persona 5 is my second longest series. Is Persona 3 longer? No, my Tet. Uh, not Tetris. Um, Sma Smash Ultimate is the longest series. So that has like 154 episodes. Bro, Linguini, why didn't you do the input? 
I know this is your channel, but I feel like the fact you just know that off the top of your head is a little, like, off. The only reason I know is because I had to edit all of them. <laughs> <laughs> you had to... Are, are you done with the ultimate clips? Yes. There are ones- so there There are- this? there are uh, clips for trash left, but I don't feel like doing them. Well, like, take a break, bro. I am like, taking do a break. I'm, I'm doing Paper Mario highlights, and occasionally Persona 5 highlights. Oh, good. So you're doing even more endless highlights. Yes. <laughs> bro, okay. do you like Honey Pop highlights or something? Like, honey Pop quick highlights? One. Yeah, I could do a quick one. Smash yeah, Ultimate like, is ongoing. Smash Ultimate's never gonna end. That's why I took a break from it. It's like, like I'm, I'm never gonna catch up on it. It's just always gonna be going. So I just said, fuck it. I'm just gonna take a break and probably not or do like, it for like a year or two. Plus, Jigger, we're still gonna, we're still waiting for the GTA Crash compilation. Exactly. I could probably do that some, or something like that. Or like uh, the every time Seth has a funny story. Yeah. I mean, I have, um, I have an, I have an out of context compilation in the works. Oh, I can't wait to- Are you gonna- You should have a tally, like, who has the most out-of-context moments. Oh, God. Dude, I just realized something cursed. What? Bowser's Clown Copter is 3D. Oh, God, that looks so uncanny. <laughs> has it look, never been can, 3D can, before? Can you see my stream? It's not supposed to be 3D normally. Because Bowser's a 2D Where? sprite, but look at his clown car. It's like 4K. <laughs> Do you see that? Oh, yeah, you're right. It does. It, it just is. Not gonna lie, though, it just kind of makes Bowser look tiny. <laughs> what the fuck? It's it so makes weird. Look tiny. Ooh, I'm so scared. Help me. I like. I remember another thing about Chari. He said that he did not believe those two would believe that those cardboard cutouts aren't the real peaches, considering they both had dumb moments. <laughs> Bowser ends up just killing Peach. End of game. Bla yeah, no, Bla Blazer and Bowser. Or a Blazer and Bower. Well, here's the thing though. Regular Bowser re had Peach inside her body the whole game and never realized. Even though he literally sucked, like, saw her get sucked into his body. And oh, like, yeah. I don't know which game this was, but apparently for the paper games, one of them, Bowser saw like a poster of Peach and thought it was her. Oh, by the way, I'm fighting P.E. Piranha. <laughs> Wait, but can you confirm that with me? Confirm what? Apparently, in one of the paper games, Bowser sees like a billboard or like a poster of Peach, and he thinks it's the real Peach. Oh yeah, that's in TTYD. That moment was really funny. <laughs> yeah, but like, that makes you wonder how they both knew that the cardboard cuts aren't Peach. <laughs> I don't know, I guess he's smart enough over the years. Also, dude, I forgot how really? goofy this fucking music is. Dude, in the two most recent, like, like, in the two, like, recent, oh, like, games, Bowser gets possessed. True. Also, I find it weird for that both Sticker Star and, what's it, um, uh, Sticker Star and Color Splash, they just reused the same hatch of Bowser gets possessed by a force stronger than he can handle. <laughs> yeah, they love to reuse that. Bro! Bro, they're just like, oh yeah, no, Bowser up. gets possessed by stickers, or like, Bowser gets possessed by the color black. Well, absolutely cocked up that. Also, whenever the trio spell ends, the background gets glitchy. That's pretty thin me. Don't know why, the, don't know why that happens. Well, the, the the whole Funi thing got really out of control when I started playing Toho Eight, and now there's there's a character that's just a bunny rabbit, and so I call her the Funi Bunny. I hate you. <laughs> All right, burn, burn, PD Piranha. Technically, fire would also be effective on him because he's a plant. Yeah, he's a plant gang, so he should burn. But you're so passionate about him being burned. Burn. burn. Expert fire flower. Finally, I don't have to do the, I don't have to use the fire flower anymore. You might have to just like watch me play for a little bit because like I'm I literally just finished the toad mission. I mean that could be entertaining. Maybe I'll do it after the PD boss fight. Are you just gonna call it a day after PD? 
Nah, man, I want to keep going after PD. This is going to be the shortest stream ever. One hour? Isn't, aren't, we, aren't we like an hour and ten minutes in? No, we're only an hour and two minutes in. Oh, of course I had to drop the input there. All right. Well, um, what all, what other, what, what other, what other shit am I missing? I remember that I just made like mince work of PD. Yeah, I still need to do the expert 3D red shell. That's gonna be a fun to do. Oh. Expert trio racket as well. These, these oh, will come trio across the three. Probably gonna suck because trio racket just takes forever to do. All the trio attacks take forever. Super Paper Mario. Oh yeah, I gotta do that at some point. Modest Super, Trio. I remember there's like a fifth one that like you technically don't have to get, but like it's so bad, why do you even bother? <laughs> item Buffet. Use all items in the game at least once. Get a total of 2,000 bucks. Start 15 battles with an advantage by stomping, hammering... Oh, I'm, I'm gonna get that next battle. Defeat 10 paper enemies with fire. Oh, so I will have to use the fire flower at some point again. Defeat 10 or more enemies with a single attack. Ooh. Yeah, so a lot of these I'm just gonna get over the course of the game, so, yeah. I told you you didn't have to get them now. I'm just getting as many as possible, for now. I'm going back and, like, doing... I'm... Oh yeah, right, this is, the fir this is the first game to, um... Oh, the airplane guard. This is the first game that you do the whole rage mechanic with the bosses. Do we like the rage mechanic? Are, are we a fan of that? Uh, I kind of, I think it's pretty cool. I like it because it's just a good indicator of you're almost done. Yeah, because there's no health bar in these games. Well, technically, there's no health bar in the in the Paper Mart games. It wasn't until Color Splash, or, I mean, not Color Splash, Sticker Shard, that they had health bars. And technically, in the first two games, they were those were optional health bars. <laughs> optional health bars. <laughs> Well, they, they were optional. Like, you only saw them if, uh, you did the thing with Goombario or the female one, or yeah. you got the badge. I always tattle. Hey, I got a free stash bean! Let's go! My first bean of the game! And of course the stash bean, because it's stash bean. Stash old it's reminding me of the stash only run from Bowser's Insight Story. <laughs> It's telling you only use the stash beans. Don't leave every other bean in your. You just fuck it. Just fuck every other bean, obviously. Are you actually just gonna only use the stash beans? No. Come on. I want to have a little fun with this game. What's it? Well, actually, I don't think you should add a challenge. I think you should just like play the game to play the game. Don't add a challenge to it. Yeah. Just play. Enjoy the game. Why does it keep dropping really the input for Luigi? What the fuck? I feel like the only challenge you probably could add is just trying to complete all the challenge medals since you actually seem to be having fun with that. Yeah. Oh, and I missed the input for that too. Well, bye Luigi. Get bye Luigi. Guess you're getting bored again. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it personally. I well, I'll see, I'll see how much I oh and I think he's oh he's not dead yet. I'm gonna see how many of them I can do because I I remember going insane trying to do all of them in the in my first playthrough. But I've smartened up since then. And I've, uh, I did all the challenge, uh, expert challenges in Dream Team, and those were mostly fun. Like, most of them are fun. The only ones that really sucked were, like, the dodge five enemy attacks in a row without getting hit. Those ones sucked, I mean, and... you can just, like, you can just, like, take a bunch of damage, walk into a weak boss fight, and just, like, dodge their attacks. Well, no, here's what I did. I would dodge an attack, leave the battle, save my game, do another one, and if I ever missed a, a dodge, I just reset my game. <laughs> I don't think that was necessary. You can't be that shit at the game, Jacob. No, it's just, it's just, uh, it, it annoys me whenever I fuck it up. Cause like, if you have to dodge five attacks in a row, and then you get to the fourth one, and then you fuck it up. You got to do it all over again. That's annoying. <laughs> Ooh, so, the cozy yeah. way. Let's see, do I want to give it to Mario or Luigi? I also, got, I also think I got something called the Prince Boots. Is that am I reading that right? Well, here's the thing. Do I want do I want Luigi faster than Mario? Ah, uh, up to you. I mean, Paper Mario is also gonna really, really offset shit too. Oh yeah, because Paper Mario is faster than both of them. Yeah, so it doesn't really matter. This is weird because he's like a level underneath them. How is he faster than both of them? 
Also, I know something really cursed about Paper Mario's icon in the menu. He has- oh yeah, his eyes are pure black. No, that's not it. The curse what thing is, is that it's- it's like a really crusty, like, it's a really crusty render of his, like, Sticker Star promotional, uh, render. <laughs> Well, yeah, I always not. I always looked off to me. So, you, what should I, can I ask? If you're ever presented the opportunity, do you make Luigi faster than Mario? Um, I always try to make Mario faster. I try to make. Ma I try I to make Mario the fastest. Okay, I don't know what the what the fuck does a, what the fuck does the game want me to do? I don't know. You can Wait, sell thing. cards. I have a piece of gear that... I found the cozy wear. It's a piece of gear that increases 5 defense and 5 speed. But oh, it's like, nice. do I give it to Mario or do I give it to Luigi? Oh no, the, do game's, want... do, the game's doing the fucking Nintendo thing where it's like, you want to take a break? I got the picnic boots. They increase my jump by 3. Ah, wow, so, so useful. I'll give it to Linguini. Anyways, what are you saying? I have a piece of gear that increases defense by five and and speed by five. No, that's so if I give it to Mario, yeah, no. But if I give it to Mario, then defense is equal out, and if I give it to Luigi, he becomes faster. So it's like, do I want equal defenses or Luigi faster? Yeah, more defense is always nice. Oh yeah. So like, I mean, I gave it to Mario. I'm really cocking up these inputs. I love how I just jump on a bitty bug and they just die. Jacob loves Mergo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright. Bitty bug dodge. There we go. I got all I think I have all the enemies for this area now. I mean I'm assuming that's the only enemies in this area. Yeah, I think there's like less enemies in the next area in the desert. Cause there's only like spinies. Um, uh, what else? There's like spinies, there's maybe pokies. I don't know. No, I don't think there's pokies. No, 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 there's no pokies are boss fights. Oh yeah, that's right. Which honestly, I think pokey the pokey fight is one of the cooler fights in the game. Yeah, they're making a goaded fight in this game. I mean, the fights are honestly not bad in this game. Yeah, the boss fights, I, I, personal opinion, boss fights in this game are something done better here than in Dream Team. <laughs> the boss fights aren't that bad. I think the like even the even even though they they reuse P Piranha and Paper P Piranha, they make him different because he steals the copy the copy block. Yeah. Alright, I need to practice my 3D red shell at some point. Here we go. This is the only, like, challenge I'm missing. There we go. I still got it, after all this time. Don't know what I'm gonna get my first like rank point, up. We'll see, though. I feel like at this point, it's gonna be weird seeing the paper enemies normal. If I ever, like, open my DS and play this game. <laughs> Sounds funny. Like, we're gonna see them as normal and be like, Wait, ew, why, why don't they look like that? <laughs> you're, you're, gonna, you're gonna find the normal- you're gonna find the normal designs weird now. Yeah. Ooh, I killed with a counter. Oh. Let's go. Remind me, is Aaron doing this with us? Uh, I'll ask him. I'll ask him if he still wants to, and then we can watch him play it. And he'll have to catch up. He'll have to do a catch-up episode next week, I guess. Oh, okay. Already fucking up. Uh, already fucking up. Are you fighting enemies? The depth perception on the racket is weird. Oh. Well, it's probably just also not the perfect frame rate. Yeah, I'm playing at 30 FPS. Oh, yeah, me too. Alright, what's what's Mario what's Paper Mario's SP like? And Mario is officially level five. Oh yeah, right. I got two stash beans. Who should I give it to? Mario and Mario. 
There we go. Oh, hey, Jacob, I'm just gonna remind you when you get when you get to level six and you get the first uh, rank, <laughs> uh, don't waste it. Don't, sure you don't give waste it. Your spot. Yeah. Because all right, all right, folks, here, listen up. I'm not sure if we told you this. Dumb but that, but when Jacob first played this game back when it came out, I don't know what the hell he, he showed us his old save file, and basically what happened was that. He waited until like the very end to get his final gear slot. You know what? That explains why the game was so hard. Because <laughs> <laughs> you, you were missing a gear slot the whole time. Oh wow! Now makes so much sense. Oh, I, mean, I can't. You want to check the save file again, real quick? Since you're ahead of me. You know what? Good idea. I'll remind everybody what my fucking save file is like. Yeah. Plus, it gives me some time to catch up because I just got Trio Rapid. Alright, well, let's have a look. Hey, perfect timing! My game is still open! That was- I, Wait, I, never... I, I opened my 2DS and just paper jammed right there. Did you not close it when you checked this last time? I literally just put my DS in sleep mode on paper jam, so paper jam is still here. So let's look- let's look at my, um... I think it'll be in status. Yeah, rank of bonuses. So for Mario, I gave him Gear Slot 1, Power Up, Jump Man, Mushroom EXP, Gear Slot 1. So I waited till Star Rank to give Mario all his gear. <laughs> and, then also, on, and then on and then on Rainbow and then on Rainbow I gave him Casual Bros and then Defense Up Plus. Mm. On Luigi, I Just gave him I'll HP up. Hold on, I'm not done yet. Sorry. I gave him hate. I gave Luigi HP up plus gear slot one, jump man, mushroom exp, gear slot one at star rank again. So I waited till star rank to give Luigi all his gear, casual bros, and star point max plus ten. I don't even know what the fuck star points do in this game. I forgot. They're for the battle cards. So oh, we'll get to it. So for here Mario, we have BP up, stash up, copy max plus two, jump. Man, copy max plus two, and then I waited till rainbow rank to give Paper Mario his his fucking gear slots. Wait, <laughs> slots as in both of them? Yes, oh. yes. So the whole time you only had one slot worth of gear to give to Paper Mario. Yep. Hey, let's look at let's let's see what battle cards I have equipped. I have um. I won't. Jake, can I tell you a story real quick? What? When I played this game, like mo like on my 2DS XL, yeah. What I did was I only like I bought specifically like cards that would give me more XP and coins. And what I did was I had a card that would give me more XP if I beat the enemy the next turn. I used it in the Trojan Chuck fight. I killed them all turn one. <laughs> wow. I mean, there's nothing yeah, wrong with that. Yeah, I just used like Trio, Trio Whirly Gig, and I got them all. Well, let's see. Let's see what cards I have on right now. Let's see what gear you have on. Oh yeah, I'll talk about my gear too. Uh, spoilers for anybody who cares about this old ass game. On Mario, I have Master Boots, Golden Hammer, Master Wear. Wait, what the? F this is this is terrible. It says restores two BP when you take damage. Is, don't you want to not take damage? <laughs> Isn't that the point? Isn't the point to not take damage? I have the bottomless gloves. Which lets you use infinite items. Pow Scarf DX plus 20% Pow, so I mean that's actually good. Luigi has Master Boots the Star Hammer, which quote unquote, according to the game, possibly forces enemies to skip a turn. He also has the Master Wear. Strike Gloves, which is terrible. Preemptive Strikes deal 50% more damage. Not useful for bosses at all. Luigi also has wait, the HP Scarf. Wait, 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 question, question. What are preemptive strikes? First strikes. So first strikes do 50% more damage, which is terrible. <laughs> I don't know why That's I have that. That's like on. useless in a boss fight. Exactly. Paper Mario has Birdling. Wait, Birdling? Bundling Boots DX, which it says increases power when you have max copies. So that's actually pretty good. Yeah. Comet Hammer. Dude, you know which is the same as the Star Hammer. Comet Wear, which is just a good defensive equipment. Metal Gloves, same thing. 
and I have the shiny ring, which is definitely not stolen from Pokemon, which is makes shiny enemies appear more often in battle. Mm. Jake, can you check something for me? What? Can you check your uh, your your boots for the normal bros? And see if you have one that's like Toadstool related, like Princess Peach in the name of it. Nope, I do not. I Damn only it. I only have it. Master Boots and Challenge Boots. Did you sell everything else? I guess so. Dude, there's like a, there's like a really good pair, and they're like Toadstool's favorite or something, and they heal like 30 HP and like 5 DP every turn. <laughs> I have something called Peach's Peppy Gloves. Oh wait, that might be it. It just says, effects unknown, they smell like perfume. Oh yeah, that's it. Jip, can you just do me a favor real quick? Can you like put them on and just like test them out in battle real quick? Okay. I have to find out where to test them. Just like go, are you, where are you? Uh, it says I'm in the Lakitu Cafe. Then do it in the arcade. You know what, good idea. I'll fight, um... I'll fight, like, one of the X-Bosses. I'll fight, um... I'll fight King the Bomb. So I have them on Mario right now. This is already going terribly. Did you get hit? Uh, Mario healed 4 BP. That's it? That's all it seemed to do. Maybe I'll- fuck it, I'll just look up what they do. Let's see, list of paper jam gear. Because the wiki will know. No, they probably- it'll just copy the description, the description of what's in the game. Um, well, let me type peppy. Um... Okay, it says, it, what it actually does is it gives you 20 HP and 5 BP each turn. I mean, why did I only get 4 BP? That doesn't make any sense. Maybe because like X fight, they're like, oh yeah, fight. Test it on like a normal enemy, like not an X fight. Just like go outside and like fight your local Monty Mole or something. Nah, I don't feel like I'm too lazy. But I will tell you what my cards, what cards I have. So I have the Resurrect Fallen Bro with 58% health card. <laughs> I you have, have any XP cards? I'll have to check. I have Raise Your Pow for a limited time. I have two of those. I that have most of my cards is just do damage to enemies. What the what this is lame. You're like bro, I'm Dude, if it, were, if it were me, I'm only getting cards that, like, increase the amount of money and XP you get per fight. Um, defeat enemies that are the same level as the user. <laughs> well, that was one... Wait, why the fuck don't I have the Nullify Damage card? That one's broken. For a limited time, reduces damage by 40% with an emergency block. Oh, here we go. Uh, grants double the experience in coins when you defeat an enemy with your next command. Yeah, that one's that's good. good. That's, I mean, yeah, that's good, but, like, it's also situational. And, like, the, and then I have increased the EXP in coins earned by after battle by 50%. Yeah, but those are good, because, like, you can just pull, pull them whenever. It, with the other one, you're kind of relying on, are, are you going to do it next turn or not? Yeah. We also have the most situational card of them all. Extends the timer by five minutes, which is only useful in the King of Bomb fight. Max, to be fair, Max I think I died in King of Bomb a couple of times. Um, so we, ha we also have, like, Danger Strat the cards. Nullifies any damage of 4% of late less... Nullifies any damage of 4% or less of max HP when using Emergency Block. Nullifies all damage to your party three times when using Emergency Block. So you could theoretically just nullify damage six times per battle with those fucking cards. Because you can just pull an Emergency Block one and then a normal one. Which is crazy. Can I say something real quick? Sure. It is honestly weird 
playing Paper Mario with only six copies because because I literally have more than ten copies. <laughs> You're so used to having ten copies. <laughs> Which, by the way, can I say you're an idiot if you don't give him 10 copies? Is that is that the first thing I should upgrade him with? Or should I get no, his no, gear no. slot first? No, get the gear slot. Well, you have to get the gear slots first, because it isn't until shell rank that you even get... Wait, is it fire? What, what, what's the... I need to... Can you check the ranks real quick? What's the order of the ranks? Order of the ranks? Yeah, like... Um, like, is it... It's like, it's like, flower rank, or no, I think it goes like, mushroom rank, shell rank, flower rank, boomerang rank, leaf rank, star rank, and rainbow rank, or something like that. Okay, so, cause, flower rank, you get the first poppy extra, and oh, then it isn't until leaf rank that you get the next one. So you have to, like, so for boomerang rank, you're just kinda waiting. Uh oh. One of the toe, one of the toes escaped. Oh, and then you, you just, you just fail. Okay, wow, great game. I love this game. Alright, I think I'm about to go fight Petey. No, seriously, what the fuck are the point of these? Alright, let me just save the game real quick. Is it And the game is chugging, it's hitting 20 FPS. <laughs> they can't handle all these paper toads. Well, I think the game always lags. <laughs> yeah, might have to overclock it or something. Hmm. Well, either it's lagging, or they just have slow-mo. <laughs> slow -mo. Oh my god, paper- oh my god, paper Bowser in the- in the clown car is beautiful. I really- I need to see. <laughs> Also, yeah, no, you're right. He, honestly, the clown car kind of does look weird in 3D. <laughs> well, it just looks enormous. Yeah. Alright, let's have a look. I can't see him. Uh, do I gotta move it? You gotta move it a bit more. Oh god, yeah, I see him. <laughs> He's beautiful. That's yeah, pretty funny. <laughs> also, I won't. I, I'll be honest. I actually really do like this song. What the boss theme? No, this um, this Toad mission song. Mm. Oh, yeah. Do you like the paper craft theme? No. I'll be Why honest. <laughs> I do not like it. I think it sounds really, really underwhelming for a boss theme. Well, it's like. Well, we're, we're, you're fighting with cardboard, so it's kind of an underwhelming fight as is. Yeah, I ne I never liked it. I was I just wanted more. I I remember being like, because here here's the, like the boss theme. The boss theme's good. It's, it's no never let up, but it's pretty damn good. Which one's never let up? That's the dream team one. Can you rank the boss themes real quick? I want to see if you actually have them memorized. Um. Okay. Let me see. Like, go from five to one. Like, which one's the worst one first? The worst one is probably. I mean, I'll be honest. Probably Big Bang is probably the worst one. Jacob, give me. I I don't know names like that. Give me like the game name. Okay. Um. Paper Jam is probably the worst. The second worst is uh. Come on again. Or we can't lose. Again, A don't give me song names. Give me the game. Well, name. I'm tell. I'll tell you both. So we have We Can't Lose, which is Superstar Saga's Bat Boss theme. That's four? Yep. And then it would probably, probably the third third one would be um, Crisis of the Red and Green, which is Partner in Time uh, boss theme. So and then two is Bowser's Inside Story? Second is Tough Guy Alert, yeah, which is Bowser's Inside Story. And then number one yeah, is one Never is, Let uh, Up from Dream Team. Team. Yeah. Question, are... what, what about the remakes? What about the remakes into this? Um, I th think that's hard to rank. It just depends on my mood, really. Like, sometimes, some days I prefer the remake, some days I prefer the original. For both of them, or like, for Super for, Saga? For both of the remakes, yeah. So you admit they're good? They're good. Also, I always appreciate it in remake when they, they when they let you have a say and I turn on all the music and sound effects. I love when they do that. How are Mario and Luigi related? 
their father and son. <laughs> Technically, in, in one case, they're, that's correct. They're the same guy. Which of the following enemies isn't found in Sunbeam Plains? Shy Guy. I'll take a, you, you know, technically, there's one instance where they're father and son. <laughs> wow. In the original Mario movie, not like the animated one, like the live action one, they're a father and son. The <laughs> father and son, that's so weird. Next question is the last. Where did you first find the book of Mario that contained all the paper creatures? <gasps> the the storage room in Bowser's castle. <laughs> now, the definitely lack of two info center. Did you get it wrong on purpose? No, I'm, I'm just saying shit. You guys are all five questions. Yay. What do I, I get? I give you beans for doing that. Please give me something good. If you give me a mushroom, I'm gonna kill you. Three heart beans. Thank you for being smart. <laughs> they gave you... <laughs> they I gave... Like HP beans are like the least useful ones. Yeah, I'll take beans over mushrooms, man. Yeah. All right. Well, well here's the um, thing. At least for me, when it comes to HP beans, I always use them on Paper Mario. Why? Because Paper Mario has like no health. Yeah, he has 18 health at this point, and the Bros have. But uh, he also has 30. he also has paper copies. Yeah, but if you, where if, you, if it gets like, well, I don't know if you remember this, but Paper Mario has like he has a status condition that makes it so that all his copies are like taken away. Even though he has copies left. Oh. Also, I was, also, oh. can I just point out, this is probably one of the weirdest items I've ever seen in a Mario game. <laughs> what? The double one-up mushroom. Well, this is the only time it's, like, actually useful. Yeah. You wanna know what's- you wanna know what's an even weirder item than that, though? What? The mushroom drops from Partners in Time. I don't know that. It's a yellow mushroom that heals all four of the of the bros, or just the the quartet, as Chaga Khan right, right cutely puts dead. it. Hooray! Hey, what gear do you have, son? Um, patchwork boots. That's not bad. I'll get the patchwork boots. It was, makes Paper Mario's attack go from ten to thirty-seven. Yeah, that's definitely a good upgrade. All right. Um. Red Bear Wear. Oh, ooh, I got the Jacob. Guess what I got? What? The Amiibo cards. <laughs> Yay, something we're never gonna use. Unless we yeah, can figure out how to even... how, unless we can figure out how to get those to work. I wanna see, I wanna I'll look it up after this. I wanna see if anyone's actually figured out how to get amiibos to work with like emulators. Yeah. So I have no accessories yet. But I did get Paper Mario some new boots, so that's good. Redeem. I want to say though, I feel like this has been like a big success because this game has been running like smooth as a pancake. I know, right? Crazy. Oh, hey, hey, we have new equipment. We have the copy bangle. Gives you one copy before you choose an action. That's pretty good. Metal gloves. Just a decent defense item. Um, are you checking the? Check are you me. checking the what? what a, the expert the, items. Yeah. The redeem points. Yeah, the trio ring reduces BP consumption by 50%. That's pretty damn That's good. really good. I always buy that. Uh, and the Pow Scarf DX is still there. I, I mean, I can buy the... I can buy the challenge boots right now if I wanted to. Increases your striking power based on expert challenge rate. But I don't think buying boots is necessarily good. Because it doesn't striking power only apply to the boots and nothing else. Yeah. So I'm that's... That's not good. If anything, I'd want to—I'd want to get boots that do something to like my stats, or like gives me a secondary benefit, like it increases your BP consumption or right, something. Jacob, I've officially made it to the shell rank with Mario. I'm gonna give him wow. the gear slot one. Oh, you actually—you made it to shell rank before I did. Yeah. Shout out, I don't care. Yeah, because I actually fought all the enemies. I'm like you. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. The stash discount. With this plan, we'll locate 10 paper toads. Or no, we'll locate paper toads for the low, low price of 10 coins. Why would you ever want to do that? <laughs> Wait, is this like an optional thing, or is this the cutscene? Um... Some of these are- some of the toad missions are required, and some of them are not. I usually just do them all, because I can't be asked to, like, decide when, when I'm done or not. I just- I just, like, do them all and then move on with my life. 
Hmm. Oh, that sound is beautiful. I can tell you guys are just itch itching to rescue paper toes. Um, no, I'm not. <laughs> I am not. I am not itching to do that. But hey, if you guys if you guys make me do that, fine. Can I also say, whenever I get like a rank up, I never use like the HP plus or the BB plus or like those things. Yeah, I don't know. Why, I don't know why uh, Young Minus thought that was a good idea. Oh, you agree with me? You don't use, like, HP Plus and those kind of things? Well, apparently I thought they were good back then, because... I did that, that back then. Hey, there ain't... Oh, man, you just use, like, Jumpman. Yeah, I do. I gotta go with Jumpman. When I, when I get the chance. I mean, I'll have to look at all the... I'll, like, now that I'm, you know, playing this game, uh, like, eight or nine years after I played it originally, it'll be nice to, um, have a well, fresh mindset. I'm doing the same thing, because, like... I remember I told you I lost this game for a little while. Well, actually, not a little while, for a couple of years. Because I had an old, like, 3DS that I found somewhere. Mm -hmm. I think I, it's stolen. And I had Paper Jam in it when I was playing it, and I lost it. Uh, and I hadn't seen it for, like, years. Very sad. It was, it was inside my couch. <laughs> it was inside your couch. <laughs> That's the funniest place to find it. Yeah, I wish I was lying, but no, I found the thing in my couch one day. <laughs> I love the idea of just like, hey, there's paper jam. No, it wasn't, no, it wasn't like, oh, hey, there's paper jam. It was like, oh, hey, there's my old DS that I thought I lost. Oh. You want to hear something similar? What? You know Markiplier? Well, obviously. You Mark know. Markiplier. Yeah. So I saw, he did a vlog of like a day in the life of Markiplier, and in it, he went to go get a... What's the thing where they put a bunch of suction cups on your back? What's that called? I do not know. Uh, he did it. He had a bag with him. It was like a bike bag or something. And he found his Nintendo Switch in there that he had lost for years. <laughs> he found his Nintendo Switch. Bro, that's a horrible... And here's the weird thing, though. It wasn't just like the Nintendo Switch. Like It had the dock and the charger with it. Wow. Uh oh, where the fuck is the last paper toad? Have you checked the shops? Yeah, I did. I have 9 out of 10. Oh no, where's the last one? Are you near the entrance or something? Nope. Well, it's gotta be somewhere here. Guess we gotta start checking again. Well, you can't use your hammer, so there's nothing there. It, I kind of forgot that you're not as behind anymore. <laughs> yeah, now I'm not. Like, I'm, like, I'm like right before the cutscene where the paper crap spawns. Mm -hmm. Which, by the way, I think, if I remember correctly, they had promotional deal. Or if you pre-ordered the game, it came with like your own little paper crafts. Oh, that's pretty nice. Is, yeah, he so in, like, is he in, like, here or something? Did you check, like, the house that is in the shop? Um... Yeah, I'm checking it. Do you guys have anything to say? Ugh, I, I, I'm hating the Toad missions already, dude. I'm like, I'm... Luckily for you, I literally just played this game. I don't know where the last one is. Oh my god, Paper Kamek looks ridiculous. <laughs> Wait, let me show you. Seriously, where the fuck could he be? Here, Let's see. look. Oh, <laughs> he looks kind of naked, honestly. What do you mean naked? I can still see blue on him, clearly. <laughs> he looks half naked, then. Is it just because he's like standing like on, in front of like brown floor so it just kind of blends in with the skin? <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's the last toad. I had to chop- I had, to talk, I had to talk to one of the fucking shopkeepers to get him. Oh well, yeah. That was stupid. I think you have to do the same thing later. 
I don't know if you get Actually, anything good for doing all the toad missions. Uh, you get to progress with the story. Alright, I'm leaving. Oh shit, I think I have to I do- I think, I think I have to do another one. You have to do both. So, oh, are you God. just gonna get to the desert and then call it a day? I mean, I guess. I mean, I'll, I'll just go for two hours and then I'll stop. Oh. Well, cause here's the thing. With you, I don't know whether you have like a goal, like somewhere you want to get to, or you just want to play for a certain amount of time. I usually just play for two hours and then stop. Two hours is like usually like the golden rule for me. Oh god, you're right, the game does chug. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you can handle this many toads on screen. They're literally... PNGs. I don't know why they're so. Why, I don't know. They're not that hard. I don't know why they chose this song of all things to include. Wait, I did they include this? They they fucking included this song in Smash Bros. Didn't they? What? This fucking um. I don't know what the song is. They included a few songs from this game in, um, in the Smash, for some fucking reason. They're like, yeah, let's include a, bu let's include a bunch of uh, Paper Jam music and not anything from Dream Team. That's good. I mean, I guess the only thing from Dream Team they added was the battle theme. I didn't even know they added this stuff. Because, uh, I, I had to go through all of the music and replace it in my Ultimate Mod Pack. God, this mission sucks. Which one are you doing? The one where you have to push them into the fence. Yeah, that one fucking sucks. Yeah, this is like... There's like very few that I admit... Want to know another one that I'm not a fan of? <laughs> what? It's these ones in the desert where you have to catch them, and you have to jump, so that way the weird sand monsters don't eat them. Oh god. The one I hated the most, and the only one I remember oh, from this game, it. is the one where you're on Mount Burr. There's one on Mount Burr that fucking... I had to look it up like ten times, because I was like, where the fuck are they? Oh yeah, it's the one where there's like... Like, ten toads. Like, ten normal toads standing outside, and they have to give you clues to find them. Uh, I, I, I'm so glad I've, mar I've blocked out most of the shit out of the game out of my memory. Why? So that way you have a fresh experience? Well, that too, but also because fuck the toad missions. <laughs> I'm so glad I blocked most of them out of my brain. Toad said wait learned... for a paper craft. Yeah, I know. I learned that it's easier to do this mission if you walk. It is. I, I learned that the hard way too. <laughs> I lost. Oh my god, so many Gumbas! There's like 50 bajillion Goombas. Wow, goofy ass Goomba. Alright, now for Mario. Mario Papercraft. Also, can I just say for the Papercrafts, I feel like they picked a weird. Like, they picked like the four main people you gotta be. They picked Mario, Luigi, but then they just picked Fire Mario. That is weird. Also, I, I'm i gonna correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure the Yoshi one is like the worst one. Oh, yeah. Like, the Peach one is probably the best one, and then the Mario and Luigi ones are just like in the middle somewhere. Oh, God, it is so, it is so blatant. Oh, God, Mario and Luigi have no clothes. Oh, that is weird. Mario and Luigi are 3D now? What the fuck? Well, they always had weird 3D models. Papercraft Mario. I don't remember them being what? 3D. That's so fucking weird. Do you the Jacob, Papercraft why tutorial? Are you acting like this is... no. Jacob, but why are you acting like this is so, like, weird? Like, they've been 3D before. Back in, like, back with the Dreamy Luigi battles. I know, but in that game, in, in that game, it felt way cooler because Luigi was like this big man, you know. I, yeah, I will admit the paper crafts were kind of tiny. Okay, uh, let's see if I can remember how to do the paper craft battles. Yeah. 
They do this weird DDR shit. Oh yeah, yeah, because you have like you have a stamina meter because your toads get tired. And it patchwork boots. Patchwork hammer. All right. Well, let's see how this. Let's see how this goes. All right. That's literally it. The store is just here to get Paper Mario some better gear. Oh. Let's see how. Let's see how bad. Let's see how bad these are. These fights are. Jacob, they're not gonna be that bad, bro. Calm down. Oh man, I remember them being pretty bad. Have you gotten to the Goomba yet? I I'm just fighting. Wait, hold, I just saw this. I got a pair of picnic boots. <laughs> You're gonna need a pair. Out of the way, Goombas. A pair of what balls? Yes. It's a it's a reference to the old Mario Strikers ad, where it just says you're gonna need a pair. <laughs> and it's just it's just two soccer balls in a in a net, but it looks like a ball sack. Yeah, I thought I go do the toad quiz. I did I did the toad quiz. Yeah, no, I, I'm gonna go do it right now. If I remember, there's, there's five of them. There's one here, there's one in the desert town. There was one over in Twinsy Tropics. There's one in Mount Burr. And then there's one in uh, Gloomy Woods. I forgot all the locations. I'm surprised you remember all the location names. Because <laughs> I don't. Well, I played this game like not even a month ago. Fair enough. I, I haven't played this game in eight years. But what I do remember is um, Mount Burr and Neo Bowser Castle. That's, all, that's about all I remember. Okay, the question marks. The question marks are. Um, I see. The question marks give you health. What's back. the first enemy you guys fought in this adventure? Paper Goomba. Oh, he he gave you. Diff he he's giving you different questions. Yeah, he, he gave me one. There's only one question I got wrong. Because he's asking me, like, oh yeah, what's the portrait in Peach's castle doing? I was like closing his eyes, looking to the right, looking, I'm like, I don't remember that. <laughs> also, wait, I just, I just realized, where did you even get that stash beam? I didn't even know you could do action commands in the fucking giant uh, paper craft battles. What do you mean? Of course there's action commands. No wonder, no wonder I hated them. <laughs> I didn't end up oh, wait, doing any action thing? commands. Wait, wait, that's a bad thing with action commands? N no, it's more like when I played this game, I didn't know the rash commands, so I ended up just like jumping and missing my action commands all the time, and I was like, why are they taking- why is it taking so long? Yeah, because there's action commands. What's that report on the blooper that survived three days in the desert? Has anyone interviewed that spiny that was born with extra spines? Just as in multiple chain shops have escaped, I'm following up on- Papercraft wow. Mega Crinkle Goomba. What a name. I think that's imp it's implying that's supposed to be the Goomba that you fought the first time. It's based- like the it, it, you... It's based on the bo first boss of Sticker Star. <laughs> oh. Well, the, yeah, the no, Meg but you remember that Goomba that you folded up, like, the very first Goomba you fought? <laughs> yeah. Like, he's a recurring character. <laughs> he's got a character arc and everything. Well, well he, he, okay, he doesn't show up that often, but, like, he does have a couple moments where, he, like, he shows up. Like, I think he was the same Goomba you fought when, that, in that wheel, that destroyed the monster. Oh, he can dodge! Oh, no! Right, I'm gonna do this the same way people read. I'm gonna start from left to right. Oh, I'm running out of stamina. I mean, these aren't bad. This is this. I mean, this first this first battle isn't bad. But they might they might get worse. I don't know. Technically, they do because here's the thing. This one's fine. The Luigi one's a little frustrating, and the Peach one is the best one. Oh, shady dog. The Yoshi one, 
the Yoshi one is the worst one, and the Fire Mario one is probably it, it'd be the best one if it wasn't if there wasn't like a boss rush at the beginning. Oh God. Which oh yeah I don't know why but the boss rush is slightly out of order because they just skip Kamek and make Kamek the last one. Weird. Even though he's the second one you fight. Okay, this boss is annoying. He keeps fucking dodging. He's the- you're supposed to- Who taught you how to- Jacob, you're supposed to let him attack first, and then when he's dizzy, then you dash at him. Oh. Alright, attack me then. Attack me, bro. He's supposed to just, like, stand still at him, like, let him- just, like, edge him. Alright, bro, you can edge me now. No, you're supposed to edge him. Come at me, bro. That we just phased through each other. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, I didn't know I'm you. I, I didn't. I didn't know you could use the. Uh, I didn't know you could use the rice stick in this fight. That's pretty cool. You, you, that'd be in this fight. You realize you can also use the shoulder buttons, right? Oh, you can. Cool. Yeah, once to turn around, once to put the camera behind you. Oh, that's pretty useful. I could care less for this DDR bullshit. Also, thank you for reminding me. I have to talk to one of the shopkeepers. No, 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 don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Do what? <laughs> don't, uh, don't go back to the regenerating thing. What? Oh yeah, that happens too. You want to annoys me, Ow. though, about the regenerating things? What? The enemies can attack you sometimes. Oh, fun. Like, they'll sometimes, like, they'll just vibe with the music, and other times oh, they'll just, like, slowly... They'll slowly fuck you. <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> but, like, on a real note, though, like, sometimes they'll just vibe with the music, and other times they'll just straight up attack you. Not you, bro. Not you, bro. I think for me, really, personally, mate? the hardest out of all the paper craft fights, the hardest one is Kamek. It isn't a good thing because he's really the second one. Okay, he just did not want to do the action command, I guess. Never mind, I take it back. Paper craft battles suck. This guy should not be taking like five minutes to die. Dude, my stream's at like an hour forty-eight minutes. Holy crap! This okay. is gonna be a big file. After I'm done, I'll just watch you. Well, literally after this, I'm just gonna go fight the paper crap. And yeah, I'm, 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 fight, I'm fighting him right now. Oh god, the game is chugging because of too many paper toads. Why am I not getting the Ash Command, mate? Oh, I, I love it when you say mate, because it's just so random. It just does not want to do the Ash Command, okay? It's like Ash Commands don't even exist. Maybe you're doing it wrong. Whoa, what the fuck? You can strafe? I don't know what strafe means. Um... It's when you are. It's when you hold um, a position and you just move left, right, or down. Like, can you look at my stream real quick? Uh, wait one second. Oh, well, too late. I'm attacking him. Oh! You cannot be this bad at this Jacob. Well, I You're am. You're sure the... Okay, you can do this. Check this out. Wait, I didn't know you could do that. How do you do that? You just hold the L button. Oh, okay, he's angry now. You were going easy on me? Bro, you took like 10 million hits. Yeah, because you suck at the action commands. What is the action command, anyway? Here, let me see you do this.
<laughs> no wonder you're sucking at this. What are you supposed? No, what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to dash at him first. You're supposed to do what? Dash at him from behind. You can't now because you don't have any stamina. Oh great! Love this game. You're supposed to dash into him from behind. Yes. Oh. Oh my God, Jacob! How have you been doing this? Oh man. This is probably why I hated the the, the paper cut battles. Yeah, because you're stupid. <laughs> I'm not stupid. The paper cut battles are. Jacob, this isn't hard to figure out. All right, let him like duck and weave. And now sneak up from behind and then dash. Oh, there we go. No jump. There's no excellent though. The excellent didn't pop up though. So you didn't kill him. Oh. Excellent only pops up when, once he's destroyed. Oh, I see. Good. There we go. It's funny, you just finished because literally I'm about to start the fight. <laughs> Well, now I can watch you actually be good at it. Assuming my parsa can handle this. Aren't you screen sharing? I'm on my... Oh. Jacob. I'm on, I remember, I'm on my phone. I've just been turning the camera. All oh, right, yeah, you're right. You can't do it like that. I mean, unless I can, like, put my phone. No, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll watch you in a bit, then. Here, like, tell me, does this look good? Let me see. <laughs> I mean, it's watchable. <laughs> wait, wait. It's, oh, wait. it's certainly watchable. Like Alright, I will save right before the desert, and then uh, I'll do the desert next time. Here. Is this, is this good? Oh, wait, let me move the computer a bit. Yeah, I mean, that, there. that definitely works. It's, it's just gonna, you're just gonna have to deal with it being flipped. I don't mind. Alright, Jacob, prepare to watch how this is supposed to be done. <laughs> wait, you gotta, well, you gotta wait for the game to handle this you first. Gotta, you gotta wait for the game to load it all in. <laughs> at, least, at least it looks good. It, it's... Tolerable. <laughs> Alright, I can't wait to see the 3D models. Yeah, the 3D models are great. Imagine they're like the. Wait, I want to see the 3D Paper Mario. God, this is horrendously slow. <laughs> he's there, he's standing there menacingly. <laughs> he's standing. Oh, here nope. they come. Oh my god. This is the one time Paper Mario is normal. That's even weirder. <laughs> Never mind the fact that Mario and Luigi have 3D models, but Paper Mario actually looking like Paper Mario and not some Lovecraftian garbage. Alright, let me skip this tutorial to let my drink up you know how to play this. I mean, it's not running smoothly, but hey, at least it runs, to begin with. Well, the paper craft is like a whole new thing, so the game's gotta like, well, not the game, but the emulator's gotta like, process this. Yeah. That I mean, tells me the paper craft battles are gonna be laggy as hell. <laughs> probably, cause, mean, probably cause it's all in 3D, you know? I mean, then again... The entire game normally is in 3D, it's just they use sprites everywhere else, and then now they're just saying like, hey, you can move around in a 3D environment, and, but you we know... are normally in a 3D environment. Uh, but you can, you have like, super 3D movement, you know? You can move in eight directions. So 
So if I just hold the L button. Yeah, you can strafe. I like how I figured that out and you didn't know that. <laughs> I've never known you to do that. That might actually make some of the paper crab battles manageable. Yeah, but here, like, I can press the R button, it'll turn me around. Yeah, now that feature is also really useful. And then I think just tapping the L button, it recenters the camera, right? Yeah. And then holding it strafes. You know what I'm funny you can do with these little baby Goombas? What? If you get it right, and you just turn, and you just go... Well, almost gotta load it in first. <laughs> you just destroy all three of them. Get fucked. Oh, it never gets old. <laughs> I like how you call them baby Goombas. <laughs> well, what, well, what I, well, well, that's what they are. <laughs> baby Goombas. Baby Goomba. Have we come up with a title for this episode yet? Um... It's probably gonna be something like, Hey, Paper Jam isn't so bad. <laughs> something like that. Hey, look, more Baby Goombers. And <laughs> you murdered all of them. <laughs> this is really funny. Oh, hey, look, there's more. There's more? Damn, no, 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 no. <laughs> and he got wrecked. <laughs> that was a great frame to pause on. I think that's gonna be the thumbnail. <laughs> Just the frame of that destroyed Goomba face. <laughs> the destroyed Goomba. Hold on, let me write that down. That's funny. So. I didn't actually get to see the frame, I can't wait to see it. It's been like two weeks. <laughs> I'll send you the thumbnail early. How long does it take you to make the thumbnail? Like, 15 minutes? Depend- well, it depends- just like make it? It depends, because, um, if it's a brand new series, the first thumbnail will take me a long time, because I have to make all of the resources and stuff, like the title, the logo, the background, and the numbers and all that. But every episode Honestly. after part one, it takes like two minutes. <laughs> so the first, the first part, it would take like twenty the, minutes. I remember that for like the arcade versions, you had to beat these like quickly. So if I wanted to get like an S rank, it would be impossible. Oh god, I never did those because I hated the paper crab battle so much. Well, I'm making it look like mince work. You're doing God's work here. God's plan. Yep. Let's do we got far for episode one. I mean, I don't remember how long this game is. Well here's the thing, it's like I don't know why. Another thing I noticed about this game, I feel like there's like barely any areas. There's like five areas total. Not including like like dungeons and castles. Okay, well, let's, 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 let me think about all the areas. There's Sunbeam Plains, there's the desert, there's... It's called Doop Doop Dunes. Doop 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 Dunes. There's, um... There's, like, the under... There's, like, that underground area. That's Twinsy Tropic Dungeon. Twinsy Tropic Dungeon. We'll count that as a separate area. There's Twinsy Tropics. There's, uh, Mount Burr. There's Bowser's Castle. There's Neo Bowser's Castle. And gloomy woods. Gloomy woods. And if you want to be a real asshole? There's East Gloomy Woods. Um, it's almost different enough that I want to count it. So eight point five. And oh yeah, and also technically there's like the cloud area above Mount Burr. Oh yeah, the cloud area above Mount Burr. So that, like, let's say like nine point five. And then um. Peach's Castle, so we'll make that 10. So there you go. 10, 10 unique areas in this game. 
Because Sunbeam Plains doesn't really get a lot of good updates. The only thing that I know that really interesting happens is you go above the clouds at some point in Sunbeam Plains. And that's maybe for like a few minutes. The well, technically, they also add a bunch more cardboard. That does not count. <laughs> that does not fucking count. Hmm. Nothing interesting happens in the desert either. I think the only thing that happens is that there's a connection More made cardboard. The... Yeah, more cardboard, and also they add a bridge so you can get from the desert to Twinsy Tropics. Yeah, and Twinsy Tropics is just kind of there. I don't even remember anything about that place, and I don't even remember the music either. The I, don't they have a, I don't think there's even a boss fight in Twinsy Tropics. Don't you fight the Charge and Chucks there? No, you fight them in the desert. You fight them like in the bridge before. Oh. And then you enter Twinsy Tropics, but even then, that's you revisiting Twinsy Tropics. Then no, I don't remember. If there's a, I don't think there is a boss fight there. I mean, you fight, you fight, um, you fight a bunch of bosses in the Twinsy Tropic dungeon. Like you fight, yeah, you the... fight like the first two sets of Kooplings. Yeah, that's about all I remember. Like, there's also like two mini games in there that involve the like the Fire and Hammer Bros. Wait, ain't there there's also one... ain't there also the ain't there also the Doop Doop Dunes underground? I don't think Doop. Oh yeah, the Doop Doop Dunes. Yeah, you're right. That's where you fight the Pokies. You fight the Pokies, and you also fight Roy and Wendy there. No, you don't. That's Twinsy Tropic Dungeon. God damn. <laughs> See, that's how much I fucking remember about this game. I don't remember what the place is which. I don't remember where you fight the bosses. Like, I genuinely forgot the Pokies were a boss in this game. Why? They're like one of the best bosses. Is this guy gonna attack me? See, now you know how I feel. Alright, now we, uh, duck in... <laughs> he just doesn't want to attack. Well, I guess Zack didn't want to show up after all, even though he said he would. What a fucking liar. Plus, we told them, like, we told them, okay, we're gonna start. Yeah. So, like, you can't pin this on us. I'm just gonna, like, have your gameplay on the screen, but I'm just gonna have my audio, because I'm sure your game is a... Well, actually, I told you to turn off your audio anyways. Yeah, you did. And, pl I and plus, your your footage isn't going to be capturing my audio, and it's barely going to be picking up your voice, because I think it does pick up your mic, but it's, like, really, really quiet. So, yeah. Plus, I'm also kind of talking quiet. <laughs> yeah. It'll pick it up better on my recording, so I'll just have my audio, but your gameplay for this part. Oh, that, means I, also, that means I also got to make, like, paper jam layouts and shit. It's gonna be fun. So don't be surprised if this first episode takes a little bit to come out, because I gotta make a lot of crap to make it work. <laughs> but after that, it'll be pretty easy. Oh, yeah, and then we also have to watch Aaron play it, too. That's gonna be part two. Aaron's yeah, playthrough. For once, I'm not the one who has to catch up. Yeah, I don't, I don't think Aaron's ever had to catch up, has he? Probably once for, like, Bowser's Inside Story. Probably. Like, I know... Actually, I, no, we should just... Actually, no, we, no, we just stopped playing once Aaron's PC died. <laughs> yeah, it was like a whole thing, where, like, for a oh, whole month right. we couldn't play this game. Oh, right. Hopefully that doesn't happen with this game, because there were so many just shit- There was just so much shit that came up, like me, me moving, his PC dying, you being out of town, probably, at some point. No, I don't think I was out of town for Bowser and Sad Story. Um, and then there was also that whole bit with Jose, like, just st stopped wanting to show up, so he just, like, pretended he wasn't even in the series to begin with. Like, Jose was there for, like, the first few episodes, and then he just kind of stopped showing up, and then we just st 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 We stopped, like, you know... I can't even talk. We just pretended he wasn't well, even I there forgot. to begin with. <laughs> yeah, I forgot he was playing it with us. Well, he, he said he wanted to, and then eventually he stopped playing it. He stopped, he he started focusing on other games, and he just stopped showing up to Bowers' Inside Story. So he just said, all right, we'll just continue the series without him, and then it just ended up being you, me, and Aaron. Yeah. I'm assuming Aaron wants to play catch-up. This just might be me and you. <laughs> we'll see. He said he's free, um... He said he's free Tomorrow? Tuesday nights now. Kind of weird. Oh. Well, that's kind of... 
But, well, if I want to watch them, then that's good because I leave Wednesday. And Tuesday night's like the day before I leave. So maybe we'll force them to play it Tuesday night then. So are we going to do GTA something? Um. Oh yeah, did I not tell you I'm doing Book of Mario on Sunday? So when can I do GTA? Mmm. What's what, what? What time do you have to get off on Sunday? Uh, no, I don't have to get off Sundays anymore. Remember summer vacation? Oh yeah. Okay. Well, how about I? I'm gonna do Book of Mario like really early. I'm gonna do it at like 4 p.m. And then when I'm done, you can do it's it. 6 p.m. for me. Yeah. Well, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm saying 4 p.m. for you. I'm gonna do it at 2 p.m. my time, so it'll be 4 p.m. for you guys. I like how you just become so used to American time at this point. <laughs> EST time, yeah. All right, so that's exactly where I saved too. So we're gonna start at the same place next time. Great. Oh, let's Can see we... how long the recording was. Um, let me look at mine. Two hours six minutes. Mine is two hours seven minutes. So yeah, not bad. All right. Wait, have you been recording yourself being idle that whole time? Yeah. Wait, why? So I can, uh, so I can capture your, you know, our voices and my audio. <laughs> oh, yo, I still have that black and white footage. I should probably delete that. Oh yeah, get rid of that. And you know, also get rid of the black and white ROM too if you haven't already. <laughs> uh, you watched me do that. Oh, right. I forgot. Yeah, you know, you literally watched me do that. My, my dumb, I dumbass forgot about that. What did, what else? What did Jose tell me? Holy um, crap! This is three point five gigs. Three point five gigs. Yeah, I know that's a, I know that's like baby for you, but like for me, that's actually kind of a lot. Oh, aren't they? Aren't they usually like? Isn't it usually only like one gig for you? Yeah, well, yeah, it's because it's been a DS emulator. Also, I don't think they ever made it two hours. Oh, I see. So, can I delete, like, all my black and white stuff off Mega? Yeah. Go ahead. I'm, I don't need it now. And, uh, don't, don't care what Zach says. Because, uh, he, he'll just have to wait a week for it to come out. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching uh, our first episode of Paper Jam. I'm actually looking forward to doing this every weekend now. And, um, oh yeah, I didn't tell you yet, Seb, but I kind of mm. want to do Mario Party tomorrow. But know, once you're not know, doing it on a Friday? I know, it sounds crazy. We haven't done Mario Party in like four months, but I want I wanna try out Mario Party 5 again and see if it'll work. I forgot we were playing 5, like, are we, are we gonna do like 4? <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, it's been so long since we did 5. And this time, there's gonna be no bullshit, like, no stupid troubleshooting crap, because, I tell you what, we're not... You and, Aaron, you, you and Aaron can play on Parsec, Zach can play on Netplay, I don't give a fuck. I'm not making- because I'm not making Aaron play on Netplay because his computer lagged our game last time, so I'm not dealing with that. Zach can play yeah, on I'm it up. if he wants the advantage, but I don't care. Mm, how come you're still screen sharing? Oh, right. Um, Why do you still have the game open? I, I don't know. You know what, uh, I'll close the game. But yeah, <laughs> anyways guys, well if it wants to, if it wants to close. But anyways, guys, uh, yeah, we'll be back every week to play this game as Wait, long you, as everybody's still, free. Are you still recording? Yeah, I haven't ended it yet. I was just saying some shit so that people can know that we're going to do Mario Party. But yeah. Yeah, Twitch viewers. For the, for the viewers. But anyways, guys, uh, see you next week for more Paper Jam. And also, potentially on Tuesday night, where Aaron is maybe going to do his run, because he said he was free that day. And, well, I can ask him real quick, see if he's online. Well, because I told Ar on. well, I told Aaron that Zach is going to do an infinite pit run on Tuesday, and Aaron might be there for that. And he might also... I don't know, we'll see. We'll see if he can do it Tuesday. I'll, I'll just bother well, him about it. Let me just it. ask him real quick. Yeah. Actually, what I could do is I could have Aaron um, record his footage or something for me. Maybe? I don't know. What if I, what if I, actually, yeah, that's not a bad idea. What if I had Aaron record his footage of him, uh, like, playing Paper Jam or something, while Zack does his TTYD Infinite Pit run, and then I could have, like, both of them done at the same time. Wouldn't that be weird? I don't know. Also, Jacob, just, <laughs> I'm gonna give you a quick, uh, life lesson. What?
PJ. That will be our uh, description of Paper Jam. Just PJ. The PJ <laughs> for part one. Just the work. To, just the letters PJ. Well, that's our initials for Bowser's Inside Story. Oh. We have our famous BIS. BIS. And for black and white, we have B W. Oh, should not be not B. Just B W. Yeah, B W. Not to be confused with BBW. That's a very, very different thing. Remind me what BBW stands for. Do you, you know what it stands for? I know it's like a porn thing, but like... It, it stands for Big Beautiful Woman. Oh, and BBC? BBC? Ain't that just the fucking news? <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's also a porn thing. Oh, Big Black Cock. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> And then there's a BDSM, which I don't know what that stands for. Uh, uh, I forgot. I think it stands for bondage, submissive, and it's masochistic. Bondage, discipline, submission, and ma masochism. There we go. All right, uh, kitties, you should have been off the stream like 10 minutes ago. Anyways, I'll see everybody next week.